I'm going to do Siamese sprints for Wright Patterson Mahjong. If you don't know about Siamese Mahjong yet, this is when you play with just two players. Each plays two hands at one time. It's very challenging and a lot of fun. And there are some groups that are actually holding tournaments. If you want to train yourself to play in a tournament, try Siamese sprints. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to roll these dice to determine who is prevailing. I rolled a nine. So that means East is prevailing for the first sprint. I will roll these dice and an odd number will be player one, even will be player two. I rolled an even number. So we're going to be player two and we'll get 27 tiles for the first sprint. Look at all those BAMs, wow. And here we have six, seven, eight in cracks. Here's almost news. So let's see here. We have four, seven, seven. I wonder if we could play Wally number hand. With all these BAMs, even if we use a pair up here, we could play Wally. Three, five, seven doesn't really matter eight let's use the eight because then we could do Peng Chow okay lap so we have six discards for Wally and we could either play one two three four pair uh, Razzle or we could discard these and collect BAMs and play Peng Chow so this could be a double Mahjong this is a nice setup right here. Let's first look at this potential. We have Northeast. Now we're gonna need a Pung up here. So if we want news, we need all four Wests. News lineup is number 10, sequence of one to nine. Oh, not a sequence. We want Razzle. Still, we're gonna need the West. Razzle is a pair hand. Since we have pairs, I wouldn't do a sequence. We'd have to throw away the pairs. So I meant a uh, pair hand. Razzle, number six on page 17. Five pairs in one suit with news. Or we could do Peng Chow or doublets. Peng Chow is number 15 on page 18. Four Chows or Pungs in a pair. Last Chow must be drawn. We have a potential Chow here. Three, four, five, three, four, five potential pungs or potential pung pair. We could maybe even do hijacks. That's concealed though, you have to draw. This would be four concealed pungs and a pair in one suit. We have one, two, three, four pair. We're using one up here for Wally. Let me read Wally to you. This hand is away from ready and it is a double limit hand. Number hands are on page 22. Wally is number 42. Three different numbers punged in each suit with a pung of west winds and a pair of white dragons. We would need to pung, 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 ready to win. There is some double number potential here. Three, seven, three, seven with a pair. But I think we would have a lot more discards. Let's see. And we have, we wouldn't be able to do act on this tile, the three. Here we can act on every block. 
except the pear. So I think I would stick with this and gather bams, maybe even sacrifice these because we're gonna need a pung here. If we don't get the fourth west, we wouldn't be able to use news. So I would focus on bams. Wally, probably pung chow or hijacks if we could draw in pungs. And hijacks is a double limit hand. Prevailing will be south since I rolled a 10. We are going to be player one, 28 tiles. Okay, red dragons, pair east, lots of honors. Kong of ones, three, five, six, eight, single bams, dots with a pair and a sequence there. So I don't think I would try a number hand. We do have the potential for Eleanor, but we ha have only one pair of numbers, two through eight. You, get, you can't use terminals. I would play a hand of honors up here. We have one, two, three, four pair, Tur uh, heavenly twins maybe. Then down here, five, six, four, five, let's see, five, six, seven, four, five, six with a pair of threes. I would play middle chows. Four, five, six with a pair of threes. Four, five, six, okay, lap. Now, let's look at them. Heavenly twins, that is a hand of honors. Page 26, number 76. Seven pairs of honors, terminals, winds, and dragons. Any mixture and Kongs can be used. So here we have two pair. Here's a pair. Here's a pair. If we draw in that other dragon, that would be one, two, three, four, five pair. We wouldn't need all these. Something would have to go. But the potential's there. Then down here, Four, oh, we don't need that. Four, five, six in mixed suits. Four, five, six mixed. We're light with bams. Let's see here. I wonder if seven, eight, nine with a pair of sixes would be better. Here we have a gap with no bam. I'll add time to my oh are we still going we are okay seven eight nine seven eight nine might be better actually than four five six because we have no bams with four five in bams and we have a pair of sixes okay lap all right so here we go Uh, seven, eight, nine in each suit, seven, eight, nine mixed, which we don't have. We would have to draw it. And then a pair of sixes, which we do have. There is a hand called Chow Main, number 58 on page 24. Chow, seven, eight, nine in each suit with news and one win paired. That would deplete our hand of honors, though. And we wouldn't need these. But the potential is there. I think what I would probably do is discard those. Hold cracks and maybe play dragon gates. 
if we don't get more terminals and honors for heavenly twins. And then down here play big chows or chow mein. So if we were to play dragon gates, we could maybe use the Kong and these and then use these down here for chow mein. That's a little more equitable. We would need the sequence. So I would hold these to see what would happen or maybe hold this as an option. Discard these first. Dragon gates might be better than a hand of honors and we could use this for chow mein and discard these. But there are options here. I would discard those first. Boy, that one was a bit of a goose chase. Last sprint. I rolled a six, so south is prevailing. And I rolled a six, so we're going to be player two. 27 tiles. Lots of bams. We have red dragon, almost news, pair, pair, one nine with cracks. We have one nine and singles with dots. And then here we have lots of bams. One, two, three, four pair. We do have a lot of terminals. Let's see, two, three, four. Oh my goodness, let's see. Ones and nines, two, three, four. I think I might try for something with terminals, grand terminals, and something with news, term termadrags, or let's see, let's put these up here. Okay, there we go. Grand terminals and razzle. Okay, grand terminals. That's pungs of terminals. And I think you can use a pair of Windsor Dragons. Let's see, where is it? No, four pungs and a pair of terminals. This would go away. We have one, two, three, four. We could pung them all and then be waiting on a pair. That's a double limit hand. Number 66 on page 25. Now, let's see here. There's... Termadrags, I might hold that. Termadrags is number 69 on page 25. We're very light with it, but I would hold it to the end. Discard those first. So I would try to probably play Grand Terminals here. Pung all those. And that is a Pung hand. Then down here, play Razzle. Five pairs with news. We have one, two pair. We would need to pair these up, of course. Razzle is a pair hand. On page 17, number six, five pairs and one suit with news. This could be a double mahjong. We have seven discards, which is really good. Let's see how things went with the time. I think I messed up the timing. I forgot to hit a button. I, as an average, I think I went over my personal guideline. I try to make decisions in under one minute 30. 
or two minutes for Siamese mahjong because you're working with so many tiles. So I didn't do too badly, I don't think, but there was a bit of a goose chase, I think, with the second sprint. So I need to practice more. That's why I like this exercise. If you have a set of tiles at home, give it a try and let me know how it goes for you. If you are a beginner, give yourself four minutes. If you are intermediate, give yourself three minutes. And then if you're advanced, two minutes. When you get to that two minute mark, you could play in a tournament pretty comfortably, I think. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Siamese Sprints for Wright Patterson Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.